and we're back to learning Premiere Pro and this time I'm going to show you how to create waving text. Let us first create some text. You can go to File, New and Legacy Title. Let me rename that. The size, so width and height is important. I'll just use 9020 times 1080 which is the typical size for YouTube videos. This menu should pop up. I'll just type in some text. Let me use a different font. Let me use Arial, we all got that. And I'll make it bold. Now let me increase the font size. We can do so over here. And I center that. You will find that option on the left hand side. When you're happy with what you've got, just close this menu. And now we've got this text element right here in the project menu. We can drag it in the timeline. The background is transparent, so if I create a color matte element and put it below it, you can see that the black color is only there as it's by default the background color in Premiere Pro. But you can put this text element on top of footage, whatever you want to put below. The background is transparent. Now we need the effect. Go to Effects menu and then find the turbulence displays. Drag and drop it on your text element. If you can't find these menus, you can always go to Window and open them by clicking on Effect Controls and Effects. These are the two menus that we use. In the Effect Controls, we've got the turbulent displays right here. There are some default displacements that we can choose with the drop down, but the best way to show it is, is to just have it run. So let me go to the offset right here. I click on this clock icon to create our first keyframe. Then I jump to the end and create the second one. In the end position you want to go at around double or at least 1.5 times what you've got at the start position for the offset. So let me pick 1500 and 1000 in this case. It should be fine. Uh, we can already see the effect happening. It's a horizontal displacement. It's very slow. So maybe I'll size that down a little bit. Maybe to 5 seconds or something. Alright, let me pick the regular turbulent and it looks a little bit different. You can see that here. The amount and the size, they also play a role. So if you go down with the amount, you've got less of these wave effects. And with the size, you can affect more or less of the areas of the text. So these are the three values, amount, size and the offset itself that you should play around with, but only apply the animation so the two keyframes for the offset. And this I can create this waving text effect in Premiere Pro. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.